What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Can We Please Talk About Music. My name is Mike from Carol's Kid Productions, and right off the top, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the lack of episodes so far in Season 3. A lot of people have mentioned it to me. Trust me, I'm not happy about it either. I was really trying to adhere to a one-episode-a-month schedule, and that just went completely off the rails immediately. I uh, got the big Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony episode posted, and by the way, if you watch that episode, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was a big deal for me to be able to attend that ceremony. Um, it meant a lot to me to be able to share it with you guys. So if you watched it, thank you so much. If you haven't, you should go check it out. Um, but anyway, I put that up in June, and then I don't know what happened. I just screwed up, and the best Coast episode didn't come out till August, but a lot of, got a lot of good feedback on that as well. Thank you. Um, and then, I don't know, I was... I was behind the ball and I thought, oh my god, I'm, I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to make up for missing a month and I'm going to do two episodes in September. And I had both of those episodes really close to being done. And my computer decided to crash and die and deleted, amongst other things, those two episodes that I was nearly completed with. So, very sorry about that. Uh, but that was very disheartening. Um, and after that I kind of said, screw it. I'm just going to not do it for a while. I was really kind of mad about it. Um, but I'm back on that horse. I'm doing it again. I'm going to redo one of the episodes I lost because it's a very important topic for me. So here we go. A lot of times when the child of a famous rock star decides to become a famous rock star themselves, the results are mixed and the reviews aren't always that good. You can probably count the ones that are worth listening to on one hand one fingerless hand. No, I'm just kidding. Of course there's some decent ones. Sean Lennon, Jacob Dylan, your list may differ from mine. But my goal today is to get you to add one more person to your list. That's right, today we are talking about Amy Helm, the daughter of one of the greatest drummers of all time and one of my personal heroes, Levon Helm, and her new album, Didn't It Rain. <laughs> Helm has been making music for a long time, whether it was as part of her band Olabel or as a core member of her late father's exceptional Midnight Ramble band. But this is the first time she's put out an album under her own name, and it is well worth the wait. Now, Didn't It Rain was originally scheduled to come out over a year ago, but Amy decided to take some more time for herself and for her band to develop the songs a little bit more while on the road. The result is an album that sounds both authentic and effortless. Stand up, stand up, The album was produced in a way that make it sound like these songs were recorded live. The feel is something similar to maybe something like Nora Jones' first two albums, except these songs definitely have more life and power and joy. Like the title track, it's a bit of a rocker, but Amy knows exactly when to blow it up big and when to keep it bubbling right at the surface. Didn't it The album also shows off her many influences, from country to folk to soul to pop. And all of those words can be used to describe the great first single, Rescue Me. Come rescue me, I'm falling fast and free. I was really excited when I saw there was going to be a version of the song Good News on this album. That song was a staple of the Midnight Ramble Band's live set, and I was really excited to hear a studio version with that full band instrumentation. That is not what I got. The version of the song on this album is really stripped down to its bare bones, but it still has that same raw energy that makes you want to get up and dance. Good news, ain't that good news? Full disclosure. I love Amy Helm. She's one of my favorite all-time vocalists. I've seen her perform in the Midnight Ramble Band a number of times. 
As I said before, her late father, Lee Von Helm, was one of my personal heroes, and when he died, I even wrote a song for Amy. What can I do for you, Amy? How can I help you get through? So, there's a chance I'm reviewing this album with rose-colored glasses, but I'm pretty sure she's genuinely incredible. No, I don't have a crush on her. Why, why would you even think that? That's crazy. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Amy Helm's debut solo album, Didn't It Rain, is available now, and it's awesome. Pick it up if you're a fan of rootsy pop songs and soulful, amazing vocal performances. My name is Mike from Carol's Kid Productions, and I'll see you next time on Can We Please Talk About Music. Welcome to a flim flam fliggity flow. I'm sitting up straight. I'm leaning forward. What do you need from me? Come on.